Welcome back to Vapor Cycles. Today we'll be casting some silicone handle grips using a 3D printed mold. It's actually a really easy process and aside from the little bit of orange dye left in the end, uh, they came out flawless. So let's get into modeling. I'm using SolidWorks this time. There is just two parts, the cup, the outer mold, which will house everything, and the core, which has some cutouts for pouring the resin, uh, as well as a center bore for a threaded rod. And finally, there's a spike at the bottom, which locates the core in the outer cup uh, to make sure we get nice even thickness all the way down. There is one more part I've done, which is to use Blender and uh, Deform modifier to distort the mesh to give the handle grip a um, nice textured surface. I'm not going to show it here. I don't really want to get into and in trying to explain this. If you're familiar with Blender, you should be able to get this done quite easily. All right, for the casting, we're going to need the mold, two pieces here, uh, the silicone itself. I'm using Troll Factory Type 15, which is uh, 32 short and mixes one to one. I also have some black dye to color it in, uh, some cups to measure the volume we need, and a marker. Step one, let's find out how much volume we're gonna need. So let's put them all together. fill it with water Okay, I think, I think we have uh, enough water here to fill the mold. No leaks. And then we just put it out into another cup. And I think we have to shout Eureka for this to work. Eureka! All right. So now we have enough volume in the cup and I'm going to mark it with a marker on the side here. I'm going to give it a little bit extra. Cool, since uh, the silicone here needs to be mixed one to one, uh, we're going to have to find out the volume half of the one we marked here. We're going to do this by pouring it into the second cup, but first I have to drink this. All right. Just trying to get it where both cups are equal. So you can see this, but I'm using the two cups and trying to get the liquids at exactly the same level, uh, which this is. I'm just going to mark it here. All right. Let's throw the water away and put some silicone in. Cool. I've dried the cup and the mold off camera. And we're ready to put in some silicone. So I'm gonna put part B up until halfway mark, put some pigment in, and then add the rest of the silicone from part A. Add some pigment. So this stuff is from Decorum and it's black dye, silicone rubber dye. Uh, from previous experience with the brown color, I think I used about 15 drops, so I'll try to do the same here. Cool, let's mix it in. Still quite translucent, so maybe I'll add five more drops 
get it to nice round 20. Still quite translucent, but uh, let's go with that. As you can see by mixing it, I'm adding a lot of bubbles into the resin, uh, into the silicone. But I have a little trick to get this out. Okay, now I have a vacuum chamber which I'm going to be using to get all the bubbles out. Uh, you can do, I think, the same thing with the pressure pot instead, or you can just leave the bubbles in. So I'm just going to let some air back in to hopefully pop the bubbles and then turn the vacuum on again. of how much vacuum I can pull with my pump. Um, the bubbles are no longer coming out of silicone and I hope with atmospheric pressure all the bubbles that are still left in there are gonna get squished into uh, invisible size. now is just put the silicone into the mold and put in the core. So let's do that. The step is quite viscous so we'll use the chopstick as a spatula to get it in there. Hopefully it gets in the way of the camera. As you probably have seen, I've introduced some bubbles uh, transferring silicone into the mold. Uh, so at this point, I think I can actually put it back in the vacuum chamber to get those out. Perfect. Let's try that. stuff is viscous. Let's try again. Okay. 
Okay, at this point, all the activity is kind of ceased. So I'm going to pull it out of vacuum and put the core in. That's it. Now we just wait. Welcome back. It is about four hours later. The silicone looks quite well set. I think the cure time is uh, 180 minutes. But yeah. Nice thing about silicone is it doesn't stick to anything but silicone itself. All right. So let's try pulling it out. I have a uh, eight millimeter threaded rod here that fits the hole I left here in the core of the mold. So just gonna thread it out there, uh, thread it in here, and then use this block to hopefully pull this plug out. so they just sit on the edge of the mold here so we can pull the center part out. And you can see that the corners of these blocks are in the carrots left. They're in the plug. All right, let's try it. Kind of looks like the plug is coming out uh, with the handle still left in the outer mold. Makes nice crunching noises as the ley lines I suspect are sliding past the silicone inside. on it. Nope. Right. Let's add more blocks. I think actually I'll just put it on the floor. 
try to step on it. So you won't be able to see this, but uh, let's hope it works. Yeah, perfect. So here we are, the handle inside. So yeah, that's it. Pretty simple process. Fits in nicely. Uh, like I say, aside from the little pigment I left down in the bottom of the mold, came out perfect. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Um, leave a like, subscribe, leave comments. Do the usual thing and see you next time. <laughs>